something happened at the shop when I was out of town and um, it was between two employees that didn't have communication, that lacked communication. And this is, this is the incident here where they both were working three shifts together and one of the inventory got lost in between. So one thing I've learned from Zappos being on the tour here, the best practice was to allow them to create their own um, solution. So I made my employees write an essay, <clears throat> excuse me, write an essay, write a, write a few paragraphs on how the problem occurred, figure out how the problem occurred, two, how, what are they gonna do to start to, to, to resolve the issue? I obviously know the answer, but I want them to do the work first because that's important. They, they made an error, so they have to be responsible to fix the error and then make them think about it. That's more important is to kind of put them behind um, what you say, um, make them responsible for their own errors and make them think about it. It's really important. So I gave them Give them a deadline also. I gave them a two-day deadline. I said, you two need to get together, talk about the issue, how it happened, and resolve it. Res what are you two gonna do from here forward to resolve the issue? Because at the end of the day, we have to understand that they, they're doing the day-to-day -day work. They're on the sales floor. For me to come up with a strategy, yeah, it's probably gonna work, but I wanna see what they have to say. Because they have, they're actually in, um, in the field, you know? So maybe they have a better idea. Maybe they'll give me a better idea. So really important that you make them responsible, hold them accountable, make them find out what the problem was and how to re rectify that. The pro one, of, you know, one of the employees was really upset and he says, um, why am I at fault at this? Why am I always getting blamed for this? And I said, look, you're not getting blamed for it. I'm not blaming you for it. And the other employee is not certainly blaming you for it. And he didn't understand it. And I said to him, look, at the end of the day, it's a communication issue and you guys need to learn how to communicate. Crap, lights went out. So, you know, what I'm trying to, so at the end of the day, and one thing he said to me too was, he says, you know, I didn't, how, how was I supposed to know that that box was there? And right then and there I said to him, you're right. Exactly. You didn't know it was there. That's a communication error. So you two need to get together, figure out how the box got into somewhere where it didn't need to be, and how are you guys going to communicate from here forward, whether it's if you switch the shifts, how are you guys going to communicate to each other what needs to be done, where is what, what is what. At the same, you know, so anyhow, that's what, that's what happened uh, the other day, and I wanted to share that with you guys, okay?